What's up, bitch? It's Shelly. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, what's up? I'm Shelly. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you and showing you everything you need to know about Estee Lauder's Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. Now, this is just the original, original Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup by Estee Lauder. So for those of you who clicked onto this video because you are considering purchasing this foundation, the answer is yes. Girl, yes. Purchase this foundation. It's the only foundation you need to purchase after watching this video. And if that's all you need, then go ahead, go get it. But if you want to know more, continue watching this video. But before we get into any of that, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to click subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more of my videos and you get notified every time I upload. If you end up liking this video and want to see more, give this video a thumbs up and let me know your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's get into this review. Okay, so this video isn't really like a first impression or really a review. I have been using this foundation for about five years now. I've tried many other foundations, but I always end up coming back to this. And I realized I never made a video for it on my channel. And I was like, why not? First, let's talk about the specs of this foundation. Anywhere that you can get it, I believe it's Sephora, Macy's, Nordstrom's, Estee Lauder Online. It retails for $42, and after tax, it comes out to somewhere like 50, and that is pretty standard for this level of foundation. There's one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters worth of product in the bottle, which again is standard for foundation. This right here is what the bottle looks like. It's just a classic glass bottle with a twist off cap like so and it has a pour out spout a lot of people have an issue with the pour out spout i personally don't find it to be a problem because the consistency or the viscosity of the foundation is actually pretty thin so it pours out nicely not too fast not too slow and i can control it but if that is an issue for you, you guys can purchase a pump separately, which you only have to buy once and you can use it every time you repurchase this bottle. That retails for $10. Trust me, $10 is not breaking the bank. It's a one-time purchase. And compared to the other products that you are probably buying for $55, girl, this foundation is worth it. For those of you who are curious about the color that I use because you feel you have a similar complexion and color to me, right now I am using 3N2 Wheat. But I do range from a 3N1 all the way up to a 4N1 depending on the time of the year and how tan I am. But generally, I am a 3N2. Now let's go ahead and move into what Estee Lauder claims this foundation can do. If you guys have done your research, you know that they are claiming a lot. So all of the claims are located here on the back of the box. And it says 24 hour staying power. Way back in the day, I used to go out all the time and stay out really late. And I unfortunately would never take my makeup off and I would just go straight to sleep in my makeup. And sometimes I would go straight to sleep and then straight to work or straight to school. And my makeup still looked flawless. It still looked like this. Now I'm not saying wear this foundation for 24 hours. Estee Lauder isn't saying wear this foundation for 24 hours. They're just saying it has the ability to stay on for 24 hours. Looks fresh and flawless throughout heat, humidity, and non-stop activity. Just recently, the past year, I've been to Hawaii, which was my first time, and it's very, very humid there. Luckily, when I was out doing my photo shoots in Hawaii with my sister, I had Estee Lauder Double Wear on my face, so it really withstood the humidity, it withstood the heat, it withstood me running around and trying to pose. Honestly, it looked really good that my sister was like, bitch, what are you wearing? And I was like, bitch, Estee Lauder Double Wear, and she's like, I gotta get it. I'm like, yeah, you do. Won't change color, smudge, or come off on clothes. It doesn't change color. It looks, I feel like it ends up looking like this throughout the entire day. It doesn't smudge because there have been a handful of times like where my face has been itchy or I've done this and my foundation and makeup still looks like this. And the claim that it doesn't come off on clothes, I'm going to also say that that's true because when I would sleep in my foundation, my beautiful white sheets we're not covered in brown makeup. Lightweight and so comfortable. You won't believe it's long wear. As you guys will see in the later part of this video, this foundation really truly is so lightweight. It's so breathable. I'm wearing a full face of makeup right now and I don't feel it. I never feel it when I wear it. The only times I really feel like there's something on my face is when I just have a really dirty face or I haven't cleaned it properly or I didn't moisturize properly. But otherwise, this foundation truly just feels like you put a moisturizer on. And that's a big fucking claim to say, but I am going to stand by that because I truly feel like this foundation 
is so comfortable. Medium buildable coverage. So you guys will see that later on in the demo part of this video. All right, so those are the claims that Estee Lauder has for this foundation. I truly believe that all of that was correct. She was not lying. She was telling the truth. You know that this is my favorite foundation. If you guys want to see proof of that, go ahead and continue to watch this video because I'm going to do an application process where I show you guys the transformation from my natural skin to what this foundation does to it. I'm also going to do a full day wear test just so you guys can see how long lasting and how good it looks throughout the day. Okay guys, here I am with no makeup, no filter, no face tune, just me and you. I've washed my face and I'm ready to show you guys how this foundation covers and what it looks like. So this, we're gonna get up close and personal real quick. And this is what my skin looks like. As you can see, I have a lot of like colors going on. I've got some redness like in my cheeks some yellowing like under my eyes. There's this vein and a bag right there. Got some red veins under my nose. Hyperpigmentation here on my chin from previous acne. Don't pick at your acne, because this will happen. So I pointed out all the little flaws on my face just so I can show you guys exactly how this foundation lays, how it looks, how it covers, and I'm also gonna show you guys buildability. I think one coat is personally good enough for me, but if you guys have darker spots or other things that you need to cover up, it is buildable, and again, that is why this is my favorite foundation, because it is naturally buildable. I'm gonna be doing this without primer because I wanna show you guys exactly how the foundation works on its own, just the foundation in its entirety. However, because moisturizing is not part of a makeup routine, it is a skincare routine, I am going to hydrate. I highly recommend hydrating before you do any type of makeup because it just makes your makeup of all kinds lay so much better. And right now I'm using the Tarte Drink of H2O foundation. It's one of my favorites at the moment. I just wanna give my foundation a nice moisturized base to lay on. I personally would prime just because I have big pores around my nose, so I use a pore refining primer, but today, like I said, we're just showing you how the foundation itself works. This is about how much I'm going to use and I just take it like this and I dot it around my face. I'm gonna just do one half so you guys can really compare and see what it looks like. Okay, so I finished doing this side of my face. As you guys can see, I've left this side untouched and with just one coat, my skin still looks really natural and really like skin but it has really evened out the color because as you can see on this side, I've got a lot of redness in my cheeks, I've got the yellowing under my eyes, but on this side, it looks just a little bit more flat, a little bit more even, and a little bit more concealed. The hyperpigmentation from under my chin from those acne spots have been covered, they're gone, and that was just with one coat. If you guys need more buildable coverage, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more to my chin just so I can show you. It's really gonna conceal those hyperpigments spots but it's also going to still look and feel very natural so I'm just gonna go ahead and dot a little bit more right here on my chin where those acne spots were and I'm gonna blend it out using my beauty blender and as you guys can see it just added a little bit more coverage but it did not make my face look caked whatsoever it still looks really natural so I'm gonna just go ahead and speed through this side of the face watch as the coloring evens out and as it covers dark spots and under here. Okay, so I've officially finished putting the foundation all over my face. As you guys can see, my skin tone is so much more even, things are a lot more covered up, but my skin still looks pretty natural. Hopefully through that whole speed through, you guys could truly watch the transformation of how it truly covered and evened everything out. I don't personally like a full, full matte blanket look. So I'm gonna get a little close so you guys can truly see the texture of the foundation in my skin right now. Love this foundation. It covers, it's buildable, it evens out your skin tone, but it's breathable. So it's 11.37 in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my makeup and I'm going to periodically come back to this camera setup and I'm gonna show you guys how it wears throughout the day because that is another one of its claims is that it's long lasting and that it goes throughout any humidity, um, climate, activity. It basically 
basically this bitch is claiming she does it all all right so i am back and this is my full face of makeup for today as you guys can see i didn't really do much with my eyes i really wanted to give this foundation the full platform the full show I also didn't do a heavy full beat conceal just because I really wanted this video to be about the foundation. I just did a little bit of brightening concealer under the eyes, blush, a little bit of bronzer, some highlight, and I used the Mario Badesco Facial Rose Water to kind of set it. It's not exactly a setting spray, so it's not going to like lock it in like the Urban Decay All Nighter because again, I do want to show you guys how this foundation works just on its own. So as you guys can see, the foundation is still looking really lightweight, really natural, and really honestly like my skin. And that's what I absolutely love because I know with a lot of people, when they put blushes, bronzers, and highlighters on top of their foundations, it ends up really bringing out texture. It really ends up making their faces look cakey. And this foundation just doesn't do that. But a true test is when the foundation goes the long run, not just in the first hour, not just in the first two hours, which is why I'm going to come back to you guys every three hours to show you how this foundation wears throughout the day. Okay, so I am back. It is 3.15 in the afternoon. It's been just about four hours of wearing this foundation. And as you guys can see, it looks exactly the same. It also feels exactly the same on my skin. So during those four hours, I didn't really leave <laughs> this room. Like once I stopped filming, I went right into editing the beginning of this video. However, it is 75 degrees here in LA. And I also, for the first half of those four hours, was editing with these studio lights on because I'm a dumb bitch. As you guys know, if you film with studio lights, they're so hot. Yeah, but so I left them on. So I'm like just sitting here basking in the heat, this rugged, hot climate and my makeup still looks good close-up view i can already tell you i don't see any oil peeking through i don't know if you guys can see any oil peeking through but i don't all this right here is highlight i don't know why i decided to highlight my bridge today but i did um but yeah so this is just highlight on my face but everything is still intact nothing in my t-zone or oily spots is breaking down the foundation is still flawless all still covered still feels great. So now that you guys know what the foundation looks like and feels like after four hours in a hot, hot setting, I'm gonna go ahead and live the rest of my day. <laughs> Are you gonna die the rest of today? I'm gonna go about and finish off the rest of my day. I'm gonna come back in and check in with you guys right before I wash it off, just so we can do a final look of what it looks and feels like. Alright guys, so I'm checking in at the end of the day. It has officially been about eight hours of wearing this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And as you can see, my face is still looking pretty much the same. My blush, my bronzer, my coverage, my even tone, it's all really still there. So hopefully this video was able to show you guys exactly why I love this foundation, why I think it's the best on the market. I'm not just talking about it just to be talking about brands. I truly stand by this specific product and I truly, truly love it. So that's why this video is really long and why I was talking about a lot of things and why I showed you a lot, a lot of things. But I just truly wanted you guys to see the full, true review, true truth about this foundation so to end this video if you guys are considering buying this foundation if you are watching this point of the video obviously the answer is yes thank you guys so much for tuning into this video if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or thoughts don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below and if you haven't done so already don't forget to click subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more videos that I upload. And of course, just like always, until next time, bye bitch.